Greetings to my team of 144 All Star Seeds Lightworkers and Way Shores. Hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day today. Many more intense energies coming through the field today. Through the sun portal, through the start gate. The rainbow waves were coming in strong today. I know myself there is many expansions in the crystal palace in the brain. Sometimes you may experience as the third eye opens, as the crown's opening, as the we call the spirit gate expands, opens. You might feel like pressure in your skull, pressure behind the eyes. I know today behind my right eye uh, there is moments of waves coming through where it felt like someone was pushing on the back of my eyeball. I know it sounds weird. Many people are experiencing these flashes of white light. Some are experiencing the rainbow colors, the violet rays, some the pink rays, the pink light. I know the the star, the soul, the sun is a very intense white light right now because as the white light at the center of your being is intensifying and expanding all of us together, all light workers are affecting the field of energy that we call the matrix divine waters I wanted to give a couple updates and then do a little frequency transmission and then a transmission of from the Pleiadians through Michael Love so first off I wanted to thank everyone for joining our CBD team we're up to 124 so I've been helping as many people as I can it's really a time thing because now that we're up to 124 people I can only put 10 people in rotation till I put a couple people under them and I'm trying to help as many people you know how I'm doing it I have several people directly under me and then I place people under those so everyone that when you sign up you know, on two steps to wealth dot com. That's the number two steps S T E P S two wealth dot com or the links in the description below. You'll see um you'll be signing up under someone on our team. And the funds for this are going towards the vision of the healing center in Ecuador. So thank you everyone for your support on that. I wanted to talk about a couple people made comments about I think in the last video where I was going into transmission how my voice was changing <clears throat> and the thing is as I go deeper and deeper into the stillness to allow the higher self to come through and to allow the transmissions the mind has to become very still And as I go deeper into that void, into the still center, sometimes my voice will change frequency. Also, you know, I can hit with uh, when I open the throat chakra and become very still, I can hit many, many frequencies from the lowest of low to the highest of high. I've been to the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Been to the physical, non-physical, to the 4D, 5D, and beyond. I also want to address that uh, a couple people who felt a negative impact from me talking about the simulation of the matrix and the avatar. I'm going to try and clarify a couple things because some 
people may have may take that as a bad thing that that this is not real this experience we're having now our perception is perceiving something it is what we may call a simulation because it's always changing and all that means is it is impermanent what is real is eternal what is false or a simulation we may call it the ancients called it Maya or illusion this is neither good nor bad right nor wrong it just is what it is the the guru will say how do you know the difference if someone asks a teacher master teacher what's the difference between what is real and what is not real and what is real never changes what is not real or false or an illusion the simulation is always changing so everything you see taste touch or feel with your senses is always changing so that makes it part of the simulation or the illusion what is real is that still white magnetic light at the center of your being which you may call love God heaven truth there's many names for that still white light that's what uh, Walter Russell was very eloquent and explained very well this could be an hour conversation but I keep my videos somewhat short most of the time so that I keep the beings attention so in the I'll put a link in the description below to Walter Russell's book The Secret of Light if you really want to understand the concept of the still white magnetic light of God truth and the simulation he did, does a great job he was one of the world's greatest geniuses he wrote um, several books he was an amazing artist scientist philosopher Walter Russell so the Buddha would say that all things are impermanent and by things he meant things that we experience in this simulation or illusion and that's not a bad thing because if he would also teach that life is suffering but he did not mean life that is eternal he meant the the energies the frequencies of this avatar of this simulation were suffering and then Krishnamurti would teach that God is the great beauty and the great sword in this because you can't separate anything from the source it's an emanation it's a manifestation of the Tao what we call the way that's why Yeshua Christos would say I am the way the truth and the life or the light because life is light light is life and I am is the pure awareness is consciousness that manifests this light manifests these frequencies these resonances the simulation which we are one with the kingdom of heaven is within yourself you just have to go within into that still white light and we say white that the one white light as it manifests in this realm it goes through a type of prism to create the electromagnetic spectrum which is the rainbow so that one light becomes the seven lights of the rainbow and those seven become the billions of colors that we experience it's kind of like a hierarchy or pyramid the white at the top seven in the middle like our chakras and then the billions at the bottom the billions of lights of colors that our eye picks up so in, if you study the heart sutra in Buddhism or Avelokitesvara that's Kuan Yin or Guan Yin the Bodhisattva of compassion 
clearly saw that the five skandhas are empty. Skandhas are the senses. So she would say, no eyes, no ears, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no seeing, no thinking, no hearing, no tasting, no touching, no world of sight, no world of consciousness. So basically, what what is this? She speaks of the heart, the heart center, which is the center of the universe, the center of you, the center of all things. The heart of it all. And in the Hindu, you know, the heart center, the green, that's the middle path, the middle Dantian, the green, the emerald palace in the center, in the center of the accretion disk, the aurora borealis. The emerald is May, the Taurus, the Taurian. the green fields today I got to spend a few hours with Gaia and she sent me many gifts it was a beautiful day in the woods she sent me several messengers from the winged nation from the furry nation and the dragons were with me they were communicating to the higher portals now some people uh, had posted that this fear of the dragon energy is like as a negative thing also and I address some of the negative things I see in the comments only to clarify things because I know most of you understand these things just these are for the people that need more understanding I know most star seeds they connect with the dragon nation and we created the dragons before or I should say after the fall of grace you know the fall from Eden as protectors and teachers for our future selves for our future avatars and they're with us all the time in the Yi Ching which is one of the most ancient sacred books in China there are 64 codes within that book called hexagrams because there were six lines in 64 different configurations of yin and yang yin the broken line Yang the solid line, yin feminine, yang masculine. And an interpretation, there's been thousands of interpretations and teachings for the Yi Ching. And one of the <coughs> translations was clouds follow dragons. So the dragons are also the ley lines in the heavens and on the earth. But the dragon manifestation is a higher dimensional being kind of like Bigfoot and fairies elves nothing to fear they are helpers so Gaia had sent a little angel to me today and we connected on a deep deep soul level it came through this tiny little bird it was like a blue gray and she flew up to me and landed on a branch right in front of my face and our eye, eyes connected you know, our chi connects through our eyes and we communicated through a deep soul connection and she sent me many other gifts and I was surrounded by the four-leggeds the red tree squirrels and they were chittering and chattering and sending me transmissions and energies of love and light to lift my spirit as the lower Dantian was pulled deep into the void today 
we're balancing between the void and bliss. You know, some of these bliss as the crown chakra opens, we stay grounded. That's why Sifu will say, smile, 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 ground, ground, ground. Because the smile, a light smile opens the crown, lifts you up to the heavens, and we ground through our legs and feet, deep into Gaia, deep into the core of the earth, the feminine symbolizing the void, or emptiness, and the bliss, the form, the levity. So it's gravity and levity. Gravity is magnetism, levity is electricity, or the fire. The fire rises up, the water flows down. That symbolizes symbolism is throughout all ancient teachings and traditions of all spiritual practices. They might call it different names, but it has to deal with the masculine and the feminine, and these truths are coming through as the divine masculine and the divine feminine are waking up and rising up and lifting up through the star nations, through the star seeds, through the light workers. So I'll do a quick transmission, a short one from through Michael Love today and the Pleiadians, and then tomorrow I'll do a longer one. <clears throat> it's twelve twelve right now. Twelve twelve. A divine feminine counterpart of mine and a Greek goddess, her mother, who is a divine Greek goddess in this realm. Her birth was on 1212. She transitioned many years ago, but her spirit is still with us, sending you much love, the genie of the light. Phew! I love you for the great gift you gave to this earth and to the children and to the animals and to all beings. Thank you for the sacrifice you made. And thank you for your love and joy that you transmitted through your child to transmit to all beings on the earth. So this transmission from Michael Love, the event, Earth Frequency Update, 4282019, Earth Alliance Briefing, Planetary Briefing, 111 p.m. Eastern, Attention Star Seeds of Earth, Pleiadian Special Operation Star Chakra, continues through the weekend as Galactic Light Forces beam high frequency. 5D, 40 hertz, gamma energy, that's gamma energy towards planet Earth. Can you feel this powerful cosmic energy coming into your body today? Ascension symptom reports are on the rise today as star beings all across the globe begin their final 3D matrix clearing. Let us know what ascension symptoms you are experiencing at this hour. It's time to let it all go now and come to a zero-point energy state. We must allow this grand universal process to unfold and flow through us. We came to Earth to hold light in these magnificent bodies on behalf of all humanity. Thank you for all you are doing. Stand strong. Great ones, finalize any remaining inner work now required to clear your eighth chakra so that you may attain the kingdom of heaven on earth. Godspeed to all great beings of light stationed on planet earth, Michael and the Pleiadians. 
and you can monitor the Schumann resonance live at 5D Earth Space Weather Tools on 5DEarthProject.com. And that is Operation Star Chakra of the Event Energies through the 8th Chakra and the Pleiadian Light Forces. <coughs> so I'll give you a quick energy frequency transmission that was given to me through Gaia today as our hearts connected on the deepest level. So take a deep breath. As you breathe in, you breathe Chi into your lower Dantian. Put your awareness in your heart center. At the center of the chest, the star energies are opening, the portals are opening. Take a deep breath as you breathe in, you breathe in Chi. As you breathe out, release any negativity, any negative thoughts, any negative feelings, any negative processes. I would say a negative process. Because in truth, we say negative energies, but like Walter Russell would say, there is no really negative energy there's negative polarities energy is energy energy flows so one thing that <coughs> I forgot to mention as I talked about the one still white magnetic light at the center of all things which is the center of your being it's still because everything moves around that center but that center is everywhere it's in you it's in me it's in every living thing throughout all universes and multiverse so if stillness is everywhere how can anything be moving and that's what Walter Russell explains and describes very nicely in the secret of light and it's a projection it's a simulation it's a mirrored effect it's a how can we say it seemingly motion it's a seemingly sim uh, simulation because in truth <clears throat> the great spirit the great mystery god is beyond even the stillness and the silence and anything moving it's beyond the emptiness and beyond the form it's beyond words beyond anything we can think but that is our true self, our unborn mind, what is called the unborn mind of Buddha, which is pure awareness. Because without the senses, the eyes, ears, nose, without consciousness, what exists? And you could be that which exists, but you can't know it. But we know it by pointing to it, <coughs> or understand it, or seemingly understand it that's why the Zen master will say it's no words can explain it we can't even talk about the Buddha but we allude to the truth through words and vibrations and symbols and synchronicities but you are that pure awareness that pure awareness exists long before anything was created and long after anything ends and that's why Alan Watts would say total annihilation is total liberation because if everything was annihilated all that would be left is pure awareness without any conflict the <coughs> the matrix just continues for entertainment purposes only and I'm not joking and I'm not being sadistic or I'm being a smart aleck because what is being entertained our higher self is being entertained the gods the goddesses they're being entertained by these stories we're living out even though many of us are suffering greatly in this realm there is also great beauty 
the great beauty is within that pain. It's beyond that pain. And if you just open the eyes of your spirit, you will see. You will see the beauty that is all around you in every blade of grass, in every flower that opens, in every eye you look into. When you look into that pure awareness, with pure awareness, you see that everything is a mirror reflecting back at yourself. We are waking up from this matrix, but we are transmitting our love into it, into the simulation, into the projection, with our pure thoughts, our pure awareness, and our pure love. So thank you for all you do. <clears throat> Without further ado, beloveds, beloved beings of light and love, brothers and sisters of the light, let go, let go, let go. Go through and through and through. to the low and to the high and balance in the middle. surrounded by your higher self, your higher selves, with the eternal light, feel the angelic realm surrounding you, your team is always with you, you may feel it as chills, or as electricity flowing through your meridians, through your nervous system, sensitivity, the senses, are having activity, the sensory perception, which is your nervous system. It's the carrier of the frequency of the codes. They carry the energies through your organs, into your brain, into your heart, into your stomach. We call it the lower dantian, the middle dantian, the upper dantian, flowing through your crown. Put your awareness in the crystal palace at the center of the brain we call the pineal gland, the pineal and the pituitary, the left and the right, the feminine and the masculine, 
They are pulsing with the vibrations of the one law, the frequency, the rise and fall of energy. We open the portal of the eighth chakra. wind gate opens, the spirit gate opens, the tricky gate, the gateless gate. It is open before you. Step through with your mind. Step through the portal. Merging with your higher self. Merging with your true self. With Mother, Father, God, Prime Creator. Separation is part of the illusion, the simulation. In truth, we are all one. We are all connected. It is beyond connection, beyond unity, beyond words. wants to come through feel their heavenly wings their gentle wings translucent pure as they brush gently across your lips Gaia transmitting her divine feminine love to you through your heart.
So take a deep breath. Deep into your belly and into your heart and into your lungs. And as you breathe out, release anything that's left of the old 3D matrix. Release, let go of any doubt, any fear, any negativity. The old is gone. The old is done. Love has won. We are transmitting this through our heart. There's nothing left to hold on to of the old matrix. There's nothing to hold on to of the false self. Be in the purity and the bliss of the divine light of Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Fire, the Holy Water. We bring the two together to reunite all twin flames, all twin waters. The water nation and the fire nation unite to lift all life through all realms, through infinite dimensions and infinite universes, the multidimensional and the inner dimensional, the outer dimensional, becomes one, heaven on earth, earth on heaven. So be in peace in the light, my dear beloved beings. I am here with you always, sending you the deepest, purest, divine love, sweet, blissful dreams, beloved lightworkers.